Back here, down at the pipeline. Down here, back at the pipeline. Back here, down pipeline. Pipeline back door. It's good. It's early. I'm trying to get caffeinated. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Or good evening. Or midday, wherever you are in the world right now. I'm down here at Pipeline, as you can see, with that thick Pipeline crowd out there, that the waves are really good. So, I'm just about, oh my god, look at those whales. Holy shit, are they right there? Right there. Oh, Shucks. They're very close in. Oh, they're right there. Yep. So much happening right now. And there's a rain squall coming through. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for this little rain squall to pass. And then I'm gonna go surf with those. Oh, so I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna go surf with those humpback whales out at Pipeline. Dude, they never come in that close, ever. Incredible. I had a question for you guys though. So, we never got to really do a full movie tour premiere with This Is Living 2.0. And I just wanted to know where you guys would like to see us bring that premiere to. Like what town, what country. Just let us know where you'd like to see a This Is Living movie premiere. And we will bring it there once all this COVID, quarantining, virus stuff is over. So let me know in the comments, like this video, subscribe to the channel. You guys are amazing, I'm going out to pipe. One really good wave. I saw a lot of really bad waves. So hopefully this goes well. session. Literally, I had a lot of fun. I had one wave that I didn't make that would have been really sick to make, but other than that, I had a great time. I just gotta grab some food, maybe another coffee, and I'm gonna get right back out there. It's like, it's all time. The crowd is insane. So in that hour I took to go grab food and a coffee and come back, the winds have gone straight on shore. And I'm still gonna go out either way because I am so sunscreened up, ready to go. And it could be a funky session. If it gets any stronger, it, there's not gonna be any barrels left. I might just go surf on the end sandbar part. But, um, so I've been getting this question 
a lot. What is it like surfing pipeline with like how crowded it is? And it is honestly the biggest nightmare ever. You have sometimes 150 of like the best surfers, or I'd say 50 of the best surfers and like 100 guys that don't really know what they're doing, but you're battling like the best guys at Pipeline who surf it that well and you're battling them to get the best wave that session. So it's basically just like a complete dog fight and you're like paddling over people and you're like running through people's leashes, you're like calling your friends off good waves and, and then you have to deal with the wave itself and the reef. So it's just, the best way to describe it is absolute complete chaos. It's what I love to do. So, yeah. You know what's funny? I was thinking about this earlier. It was second reefing today, and we we're getting cleaned up all, every set. And I, I think it seems like we're, you know those blue lights that shock bugs, but the bugs keep flying to them? It's like we keep getting shocked and cleaned up by these sets, but we keep going back out and sitting in the same exact spot. So, yeah, that's what pipe's like. We're like little stupid bugs. I'm going out. Well, yesterday was pretty gnarly. One of my friends got pretty messed up on the reef. And um, luckily he's alive and still with us. It just is kind of a bit of a wake up call, definitely. I didn't go surfing after that, I just went home and chilled and it looks really fun right now. So I'm gonna go out and try to get a couple of sick waves. And we just can't forget how dangerous this wave actually is. It is so gnarly. And you can just get so comfortable out there and just think nothing of it and then you get a wake-up call like that and it's just like this is this is pipeline that's why it's so gnarly but i'm gonna go have a great time right now with my friends let's go I'm really curious to see my board whack me in my side on like my second wave. And it feels so sore. I've been meaning to check it out. Let's see if oh, oh, coming out. Wow. Is that John? John. He's still out there. He's the best. Ah. I can't get this off. I gotta see if I'm injured. Oh! 
Oh, it did slice me. It hurts so bad. But it was too good, I couldn't come in from surfing. Was that just from your board? Yeah, I like, it was on my first ride that I like, it, I fell on. I don't even know what happened because it spit and I couldn't see anything. I just flew off my surfboard. All of a sudden I was just flying and like, my board just, the fin, I felt it come and whack me. I was like, oh, and like pushed it away from me and then went over, but. Oh, lucky it's not like a, it's just a scratch, it's not deep right here. Good session. The wind just came on shore, but it could literally just straight up turn and go back to perfect with minimal amount of people out. So we're gonna be down here for a little bit, checking it out, scoping the scene, seeing if it gets any better. Another day. Another day.